Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the News Roundup from across the Trust. This week, we'll be finding out how to love your liver. We'll be reminding mums-to-be what to do if they're worried about having the COVID-19 vaccination, and tuning in to the dulcet tones of our oldest hospital DJ. But first, we have some really exciting news. The Bradford Institute for Health Research, based here at Bradford Royal Infirmary, has secured £7 million from the Wellcome Trust. This is to deliver a seven-year project called Age of Wonder. The study will build on the hugely successful Born in Bradford programme, one of the world's biggest health research studies involving more than 13,000 children. Here's the director of Born in Bradford, Professor Rosie McKechn, to tell us more. So Born in Bradford started in 2007. We recruited over 12 and a half thousand families and now our oldest children in the cohort are reaching adolescence. They're becoming teenagers. And the next exciting phase of Born in Bradford is Age of Wonder, where we're following the lives of these teenagers up to find out what it's like to grow up in Bradford. We're going to plan to work with secondary schools across the district. We are going to be asking young people to complete surveys for us. We're going to be going in, taking blood, taking measurements, trying to build up a really detailed picture of their health and well-being. We hope that by understanding better what it's like to grow up in Bradford and the factors that influence health, we can uh, improve services within the city to deal with some of the issues that our young people are facing. We also want to use Age of Wonder as a platform to really inspire our young people in science and kind of build the next generation of citizen scientists. Thanks, Rosie. What groundbreaking work. Now, after the indulgences of Christmas and the New Year, it's not surprising that many of us sign up to dry January. It's a chance to take a break from alcohol and press the reset button. Cutting Down on Alcohol is supported by Love Your Liver, a campaign designed to show us how to better look after one of the hardest working organs in the body. Here's consultant hepatologist Dr Paul Southern to explain why it's so important to love your liver. Your liver is a really important organ in your body. Each cell in the liver can carry out 500 different tasks, such as detoxifying drugs, processing food, and producing proteins. There's five things you can really do to start loving your liver. Number one, this could be taking a fitness challenge such as couch to 5k, or it could just be not using the lift at work or going for a walk every evening. Number two, dry January. One of the problems of the liver is if you drink too much alcohol, it gets fatty. So if you stop drinking alcohol, it gives your liver a well-deserved rest. And we know that the excess fat will be gone within four to six weeks. Number three, we should be eating five portions of fruit or vegetable a day. It gives your liver the vitamins and minerals that it needs to produce the proteins that we use every day. Number four, reduce sugars. And then finally, number five, eat less processed food, eat less takeaway. Remember, we only have one liver. Thanks, Paul. And if you would like more information, please go to the website below. Now it's time to take a quick tour around the rest of the Trust to see what else has been making the news. understand mums to be are worried but it always helps to talk about their concerns. Once mums have been reassured by us they go on to have the vaccination. If you're anxious please talk to your healthcare professional so you can do the best for you and your baby. Thanks Rakea for that really important message. Finally, we are so lucky here at the Trust to have the support of so many volunteers. And if you've been a patient at St Luke's Hospital, it's likely that you will have heard the lovely voice of one of our eldest. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Patrick in the chair for this morning. Um, this is St Luke's uh, Radio, transmitting from St Luke's Hospital in the city of Bradford, West Yorkshire. 91-year-old Patrick Murphy has been spinning tunes at St Luke's Sound for the past decade. 
the hospital radio station broadcasts 24 hours a day to patients and to staff. And it's such a good gig that apparently Patrick has no intention of hanging up his headphones just yet. I was retired and I was bored stiff watching television and I saw an advert in the local paper that they were wanting uh, volunteers to go on radio and the rest is history. I play the music directed to the patients and the staff. The music I play, it can either make them happy, make them a bit sad, or bring things forward from the past. They might hear a piece of music that was their music. I've always been into music. I used to make my friends and uh, relations suffer by DJing for them. I like all sorts of music, but my favourite uh, music is uh, country. I've got about uh, 20,000 to 30,000 CDs, and I must have a couple of hundreds of uh, records, 12 inch and 7 inch. I haven't made any plans for the future, I'll just come every day as, as I do. Thanks Patrick, what an important service you and your team delivers. And if you'd like to tune into Patrick's show on a Wednesday and a Thursday morning, please visit the link that's on the screen now. Well, that's about it for this week. As usual, all our latest news and updates can be found on our social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And don't forget, the best protection for you and your loved ones against COVID is to get your vaccinations. And you can find details of local clinics by going to the link below. Look after yourselves, and we'll catch up again next week. Bye for now.